Hey guys, how you doing? It's your boy TNT Barbecue. My name is Thyron, and I want to bring you along for this cook, okay? So a lot of my subscribers uh, in the past have asked me, and also looking at other videos, about how to get crispy skin using a smoker, whether that's a pellet smoker or offset smoker. So I had a lot of, have had a lot of success with chicken in the competition world. I'm not gonna do a competition cook, but I am gonna show you my method of cooking a outstanding chicken hind quarter on a pellet grill, okay? And the pellet grill I'll be using is the Pit Boss 7 Series Vertical Carpet and Smoker, Smoker, excuse me. <laughs> and uh, guys, I wanna bring you in and let's talk about trimming this chicken up, okay? So the chicken has been washed, and uh, I do wash my chicken, but we're gonna trim it up, and then I'm gonna show you how we trim it up. This is a very important step, guys, on getting this nice chicken, the presentable, crispy skin. Let's do it. All right, guys, so you're gonna need a sharp knife with a little weight to uh, do this trim job the way I do it on the chicken, okay? You see? Here's the backbone, and this is uh, the, the butt right here, and this is just the flap right here, okay? So what I like doing is coming in right here, I'm separating that skin, and I'm coming down with the knife blade. And I'm coming right here, and I'm gonna go in between that, and, uh, and I'm just gonna cut, okay? You gotta have a sharp knife. So what that leaves me with is basically a nice piece of chicken you see it there and you want to just kind of use your knife and any bone fragments things like that you want to kind of clean up a little bit not a lot I'm gonna put this back over here in the corner so I like clean up my chicken a little better than a lot of people. Okay, and this is what we left for it right here. You can see it still resembles a chicken quarter. It's got the back piece gone out of it. But I did leave that bone right there, so you wanna, see that's what I'm saying, even I can leave bones. So, uh, but you see what you do with a sharp knife, how that sharp knife makes the job a lot easier. A lot of people don't eat bone in chicken because they they don't know how to prepare it. But um, and you can fry the chicken the same way. You can use the same method to fry chicken too, and it's outstanding. Y'all ready for this? Black pepper seasoning salt. So I got like a little black pepper left, and I got a whole bunch of seasoning salt. The ratio I like using, and I put this on my ribs when I cook for the public. This, this is the rub I use most of the time when I cook for the public, okay? Uh, this is a great um, rub to use, and I, and I have success at it. So what I do is like this, the, the black pepper, and I wanna go uh, a little bit more than half black pepper. So that's what we're gonna use, okay? Bring in while we season this up. Okay, the back's removed, we got the chicken dried off, and this is this is how simple it is, guys, okay? And just be careful with sugar rubs on chicken. Stay away from sugar rubs. So I just go basically like here. I let uh you don't go too heavy. 
But this is what I do. You can brine the chicken, you can do whatever you want, but this is what I do, okay? Like I say, this works for me. And you know, I pop that pepper out. I just pat it down. Pat it, you know, just, you see some spots right there missing. Pat, when I lay, missing a couple spots, pat. Just make sure you get it pretty covered. And you want to do the same on the skin, okay? I You don't want to over season it. So guys, let me talk about the pellet smoker we're going to use. The pellet smoker I'm using is the Pit Boss 7 Series. And, and this is how we start the Pit Boss. So I got loaded up with oak, uh, oak and hickory pellets, okay, from Pit Boss. I want to set this at 200 degrees, okay? So we got to set 200 degrees. I'm only going to use two racks because we only got like 10 chicken quarters. I want to fill this hot. I want to fill this up with water, okay? And this particular smoker is very important. You fill it up with water. It helps regulate the temperature, but it also, it helps to keep moisture in the uh, smoke chamber. So I have something working against me. I got a lot of moisture in the uh, water, in the smoker. So that can kind of hinder me from getting the crispy skin, but we're gonna push this out anyway. I promise y'all crispy, nice skin on chicken, and you're gonna get it. So uh, yeah, and, and when you start the smoke up, you wanna leave the door open, okay? the door or whatever, and I do it on all pellet grills. I leave mine open. I want to make sure that it gets enough oxygen to get the cot. And another key is you get what have your vents open too, so uh, your smoker can breathe. So that helps with the uh, flow of the, when you start getting at high temperatures. So um, I'll bring you back when we place the chicken on the smoker, okay? So the smoker's up to temperature, guys, and, and, and here's the key thing about this chicken, okay? Get crispy skin. First, you don't want to overcrowd your chicken. You want to make sure the airflow around your chicken is good. So let, let's start off with that, okay? Not over, not, not overcrowd the chicken, all right? You got a lot of space in the smoker, utilize the space. So that'd be the first step of not overcrowding the chicken. Um, 275 degrees, okay? And we're gonna do that to the internal uh, to the chicken reaches the internal temperature of 165 degrees. People say that should be done, but that's not how we're doing it. Alright guys, so I'm gonna use my smart troll thermometer, guys. I'm telling you what, this is a this is God sent. I got the probe into the chicken quarter. I got the internal temperature set to 166. I wanted to go off. Right now we sit at 152. We don't have a color, we don't have nothing, but the chicken is almost done. So almost that's the reason why I say we got to go to approximately 180 degrees internal temperature due to the fact we want that crispy golden brown skin bite through. So that is the reason why I tell you we got to go up to 180 to achieve the, the doneness I desire, you desire. All right, my alarm has went off. We at 166. Technically this chicken is done, but we got no crispy skin yet, but it's done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this thermometer. We'll come out here. And we're gonna spray this chicken with this uh, butter spray. All right, we're gonna turn that chicken around.
can't carry this on high, okay? Look at that, look at that skin high as Look at that skin high as Christy already. We're gonna see what it do though. Let's turn up the high. You have to watch it. So here we got probably, I would say 10 to 12 minutes of cooking on high. When it gets that golden brown and the skin gets crispy, and I tell you what, the fat is gonna be rendered. This is gonna be some bite through skin. Hey guys, I will see you at the cutting block, okay? So what I need you to do, give me some thumbs up if you're liking this video so far. I want you to comment and say, this video helped you or did it not help you, okay? Comment, let me know. And then I need you to subscribe, okay? So we'll see you at the chopping block, TNT baby. Bonus footage guys, okay. I need you to check that chicken out. You see how that, uh, the juices is bubbling inside that skin. Well, that is the fat actually cooking up under the skin of the chicken. Do you see the bubbles under that skin? That is a fat rendering. You're seeing it there. You're seeing it live on TNT Barbecue. Not live, but you're seeing what I'm saying, crispy skin. This is how you achieve crispy skin, guys. Just like that. And you can understand that, okay? So. Like I say, God, is this easy? Just a close up, guys. Look at that chicken. Look amazing. It is so amazing. I hope that I'm doing justice by this chicken. So we're gonna go and we're gonna take a taste test. But I want, before we do that, I just want to go over and show you what we're looking at. What's up? We at the chopping block, guys. And like you see, this is amazing chicken. And my goodness, I am so excited to bring you this chicken. Man, what I'm gonna do is cut some up for you on camera, and then we're gonna go out for a taste test. Guys, right, so like I say, this is a taste test. I want you to, did you hear that? Do you hear that crispy skin? Do you see that guy? Did you hear that crispy skin? Can you, can you, can you feel that crispy skin? This is amazing. And you can tell it's rendered. Look, just look at this chicken. Everything is rendered guys. So look at that smoke ring. All right, I'm gonna bring you out for a taste test. Here we go. Mm. Juicy, the skin is crispy. Mm. It was so hot, I kind of pulled everything off. But, mm. I don't normally eat chicken quarters or drumsticks, but man, this is so delicious. All right, guys. Mm. Look, guys, look at that skin. Look at that skin. Look at that skin. Man, look. Mm-hmm. God. I hope I proved the point. Mm. Go tell your friends there's a guy that cooking barbecue. And he's doing it right. This is TNT Barbecue. God bless you. God bless America. And pray for those guys with the coronavirus. And pray for everybody. And pray for the world. Amen. Yum. Wow, man. Look at this, guys. Look at this. All right. I want to see something. Mmm. Mmm. How about you 
chicken quarters. Baby, when I make anything this good, I got to eat it. But honey, you're right. I don't normally eat chicken quarters, but man, this is you darn good. You want some chicken? Yeah. Hey, God. That was just bonus footage. My wife, man, I don't eat chicken quarters, but I'm eating these chicken quarters and the skin. Yo. Mm.